I have shown in the CD or So most of your work, most of your work is, um, what am I looking at, ceramics? Yeah, so this is all clay and found objects. So this is a series I have been working for the last couple of years. Uh, it's hard for me to see what, what it is. It, it's figurative work? Yeah, yeah, so, so you, you can, can see there are like, sort of like portraits. portraits. And then I overlap with other phases. This is kind of like a religious figure. Which is actually the cover of my last monograph. Uh, oh, I did. I went to a big view. <laughs> it's much easier. I'm seeing them. So it, it's uh, uh, ceramics that actually has uh, other other kinds of work embedded in it. That's right. right. Yeah, there's other elements, but uh, clay clay, clay, is, a clay is a big part of it. So some of these pieces I made in a residency in Las Vegas. Residency where? In Las Vegas. Oh. oh. So this is my favorite corner with all the tools and I mean I use a lot of clay but many times I also work with like wood elements or metal. Okay. Even metal. welding. So. Good clock. Yeah. <laughs> and you're obviously ready for uh, face coverings there. Yes, that's right. I never thought it would be part of everyday life, but uh, now it is. It's needed, no? Oh, right now, a few yeah. pieces. You have quite a, quite a few kilns there. Yeah. So this is just fire. fire. Oh, yeah. life -size. Those are like life size oh. busts. Sebastian. It's obviously St. Sebastian, but it looks very androgynous. Yes. Is, is it a male yes. or is it a female? What's that? So is there some lithographs that I was working out of that residency in Las Vegas? And some other sculptures. But anyways, I think we could start now with the class. Let's see if other people sign up. Or yeah, we have seven participants, so I think we can go ahead. So one one of the ideas I have proposing for Hyde Park and this Sunday events, uh, I was thinking since. Memories is a big thing for us right now. And so that, uh, I was thinking to, to make this project of the last person we, we got to see 
before before getting into quarantine, right? So that could be an example of of, of uh, portrait we could do, or we can also think of somebody else. But before making a figurative uh, portrait, let's say, I was thinking. Because many times, like, buildings become sort of like portraits for us, no? So I was thinking we could start with a, a drawing of a, the, like, a frontal view of, of the house where you grew up. In a way, thinking of home, it's almost like a portrait, no? I don't know, maybe some people still live in the house they grew up, or, uh, I don't know. But it, it, I think it's something that we remember clearly, and um, yeah, I was thinking we could try that out. Huh? So, I'm gonna turn the camera around again. So I prepared here a piece of paper. And I'm just gonna use a regular Learn. Pencil. Pencil. And so, and so the, the way, way... I suggest, I suggest a drawing is a, like starting from, from the outside of the elements. Like, for example, if I'm thinking of a house, instead of starting from like a door, right? Uh, I'm going to start like from the outside the outline of, of the building, no? So for example, I can think of like where the side, sidewalk was and then think of the size of, of the house, no? So if you guys want to start doing that also in, in your own homes, that you remember from childhood. So imagine like a frontal view, like if you were sitting in the front sidewalk across the street, right?
How is everybody doing? Good. What kind of house did you grow up in? That looks like. Excuse me. What kind of house did you grow up in? <laughs> <laughs> so I was looking at your sketch here. I could you repeat that? Sorry, Chuck. Also, I I grew up in a. In Mexico. Oh, okay. So, so there's an interior courtyard. Is that what it is? Is it in the yeah? The right, in the right, so, here, over to the right is is the uh, a kind of garage or entrance. For exactly. So this was like the, the car entrance that would open side to side. Okay. Gotcha. And then, and then it was like a tiny section of of garden in front. Yeah. And this area inside had like a a basketball, like tiny section, so that we could play a little bit. And, and yeah, so this was like the living section no, behind there. But yeah, so in Mexico, you, you have to have, or most houses have a wall towards the outside because it's, it's not as safe as the suburbs here, I guess. <laughs> Um, it's also it's also the cool architectural style. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, how are are you guys doing? If if you want to share with me your your drawings, I would love to check them out. Well, I tried to do the parsonage in Anaconda, Montana, <laughs> which uh -huh. I I um, you know can you see? Them? Yes. Da da da. Oh, nice. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, and I think I'm relying more on my knowledge of it's a four, what, what's called a uh, four square, which is a three story thing. With, but, and I just, my, my, what I was having a hard time with was the, um, it, it has it had a big front porch that went all the way across, so getting the idea of the depth of that porch, I obviously did not succeed. That looks great. Yeah, but it's a really good idea, no? Yeah, that's awesome. What about you, Carol or Mary? You want to share your? Um, I don't know how to use my camera. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That, that's good. Could you hold it a little longer? 
yeah, just bring it back to the to the camera. Nice. That's a good Anna. drawing. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think the sounds. Yeah, I think she muted herself somehow. Yeah, I was on mute. Oh um, yes, you were. Yeah, I still live in the same neighborhood with that house, so I, I go by it. It's much more grand and big in my brain than it really was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's true. Like our perspective always is as a mm -hmm. as a child, no? So perspective changes a lot, but uh I mean, in terms of how 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 much space it, it felt you know, in our memory. What about you, Mary? Would you like to share with us? Can you hear me? Uh huh. Yes, you can. A little farther back. Yes. Perfect. Uh huh. So it's like two car garages on the left, right, and yep. and a nice tree in front. That's awesome. Oh, thank you. That looks great. That looks great. Yeah, so um, who else is joining us? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes? L. Maxwell, we have a... Marilyn, I think we heard you for a moment, but then... Okay. Is I, that you, Marilyn? Yeah, I can untake my camera. I'm not finished yet, though, really. Okay, okay. It's okay, Marilyn. I, I'm gonna write my email. At, uh, at the end of, of this exercise and I would love you if you guys share those images but I, again we could do it at the end so that we can keep working um, so I think that suggestion I was having of uh, then making a, a portrait of a person we just saw last okay I see But you're just watching for educational purposes no problem so let me spin this around so i have some paper ready for you um so yeah speaking of of, of portraits i think i'm going to explain basically what what the proportions are maybe some of you already know that or, or have taken my classes before either in sculpture or, or drawing um, but yeah, for example, one of the people who came or, or yeah, came to our house last time, uh, right before all this situation, he, he and his wife came to deliver some food as a present for me and my wife. So, so I thought that was like a very nice gesture. No? Uh, so thinking of, of a portrait, I think the easiest way is, is to think sort of like a a shape of an egg, but let's call it backwards so that the thin section is at the bottom, right? Um, and so once we have this sort of egg shape, we can draw a line in the center and another line in the center. So these are like the main proportions of of people's portraits, right? Or, or most general proportions of all of us. So the center is the center line for the eyes. If you go to the center of the eyes in the bottom of the chin and draw a little line, that'll be the base of the nose. Then the base of the nose to the bottom of the chin, you draw another line on between, that's where the center of the lips would be. You know? um, 
and then I don't know. You can think a little bit of of a neck or something, no? But um, so once we have that, we could think of of the eyes. There's like five eyes around the face, not around, but from side to side. So this distance is one, two, three, and then half and a half by the end of the face, no? So we can think then that the eyes could be here. And again, this is just an exercise from memory, no? You, you can choose the last person, for example, you saw before uh, staying at home, or you can think of of a person you grew up with, no? like a familiar face maybe you have, uh, a person you miss, this a person you you have like really good thoughts about, no? Uh, so my friend, for example, has a very particular mustache that it's almost like a cartoon because it's really like this. So yeah, you guys think of, of someone that is made by you or but maybe we could share at the end like the the portrait to that person, no? Like you were the last person I saw. So I was thinking of you. Hmm? So you, usually around the eyes right here to the side, you can see like this shape kind of thing that then the eyebrow is on top kind of thing. But that bone structure is pretty clear in there. No? So the tear dot really helps to give more expression to eyes, right? Uh, what? Mm. Nothing, it's just the you just heard the computer talking. Mom, there's nothing here. <laughs> okay. And so right behind the, the nostrils in here, right? There's this expression lines that many times we see more clear when we open our mouth or with H, no? Like these lines become more noticeable, but we all have them, right? And another interesting thing is that the upper lip, it's, in most of our cases, it's longer than the lower lip. Mm -hmm. The lower lip tends to be shorter. Same thing happens with the upper eyelid. It's shorter than the lower one. And then we can think of sort of the outline of how the hair grows no, in our head. So the, uh, the ears start like on the same line, pretty much of the side of the, the same line as the center of the eyes. 
and end somewhere between the line of the lips and the line of the nose. And then you can sort of erase those guidelines with it at the beginning, right? If you have some like leftover sections of a eraser, it's, it's easier to use a piece of paper to remove them so that you don't mess up so, as much with the, the drawing them. And if you want to work a little more on other details, you can think of like the garments or something.
<laughs> How is everybody doing with their drawings? Great. I was watching you, I must admit. Okay, okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah, if you guys w wanna share? I haven't, uh, so I haven't done much. Okay, okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's fine. This is somewhere like between a tutorial and... But I know I'm just some starting, of you guys... I was watching you. Mm -hmm. That's good. Who's my daughter? You're working on your daughter? Uh-huh. Oh, that's good. Nice. I don't draw very much, so. <laughs> no, that's good, that's good. I, th I think it's, it's always harder to draw from memory, right? When, than, than drawing from a reference. So uh -huh. it, it really is pushing our brains into thinking of very, detailed moments and sections of, of the face, right? And, and, and it's uh, funny how, how memory works that we can close our eyes and we can think of a person and really like see that person. But once we are thinking of actually make lines or draw lines of that specific person, it becomes harder, right? Yeah. And I don't draw enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's also true. Like, like uh, the more we we draw, I guess we become more comfortable. How what our, our brain is telling us of those lines, and and then uh, materialize them, no? like make them in the piece of paper.
How's everybody doing? You guys want to share your drawing so far? Well, I was trying to, the last guy I was with was uh, a, a swimmer over at the pool. Oh, huh? And he has a, actually, he's bald and has a very oval face. I don't think, I don't know. Actually, I, I, I Zoom with him every Thursday. I should actually, I'll hold it up <laughs> with him. <laughs> That's great. That, that looks really good. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Do it, anybody else want to share your progress so far? Oh. Okay, can you bring it a little closer? Nice. That looks good. Who, who is this, Carol? Oh, I, I think you have to unmute. Again. <laughs> uh, this is my roommate in college, and I re I'm drawing her very young, I can see. I don't know how to put the wrinkles in, in the changes in there, but I spent mm -hmm. a lot of time with her this fall. She had injured herself, and uh, so I, I was staying with her a lot. And then we had to stop visiting because of the COVID, and so I miss her terribly. She lives in Michigan, so I don't get to see her enough. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's nice that you you chose that person. It's 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 good to to think of them that way too. No. Yeah. So I think maybe if you guys want, you can. Uh, make another exercise of a, of a family member that you, either you think or you have been told that you look alike, no? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, so, sometimes we, we look alike our father, no? More like our mother or like a grandfather, no? Like maybe some of them already passed away. Uh, but I, I think that's a good, good uh, exercise because in a way it could feel sort of like if it's a self-portrait but also uh, of course it's thinking of someone else no? like somebody we we are familiar with we have seen uh, I think is a good exercise for memory no because again thinking of a self-portrait we of course we ourselves are, are the people we see the most so that because of mirrors, right, and, and every day, so we technically should be able to, to make a self-portrait, but at the same time, I guess most of us don't really know our face in order to draw it, no, without looking at it. Uh, so yeah, let, let's try that exercise of, of, of drawing a family member Who we think we look alike or, or we have been told we look alike no are you guys ready mm
How are you guys doing? Good. So show your face now. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see whether I, is there, oh, there is the other. So we guess, who, who is it? Is it your dad? <laughs> it's my father, yeah. Oh, see, I got it, I got it. Oh, good, so I good. my brother who got very skeletal at the end of his life. And I, and I, and I must say, I, was, I thought I was doing well, and then the more I worked on it, the further away it got away, so I stopped. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs>
No, that looks good. That looks good. I, I think it's a really good exercise, no? Because we we are trying to think of very specific details by every line we make, and it's yeah. it's it's not easy. I, I think it's a good way to keep our, our brain working and push it in in directions we we ha we really haven't done, right? Yeah. Anybody else want to share their drawing before? Almost. <laughs> we go. Oh, oh that looks great. Oh, that's... That looks great, Mary. My mom, so. Oh. It doesn't quite look that's... like her, but it is a good uh -huh. exercise, so. Would you show it again? Put it up again. Sure. I, I like the shadowing. Oh, thank you. Oh, I like it's how you It's a you really good drawing. Yeah. I like oh, how you did the treatment. You, you really had a sense of light there that I, I, could, I wasn't getting. Oh, you're sweet. Thank you. And if you saw her, she really doesn't quite look like this, but um, <laughs> it, it's, it, this is a good thing for me to do. Thank mm -hmm. you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for joining, Mary. It's great to see you. Thank you. Can you show what us about, one more time? What's up? Mary, would you show us one more time? I love the way you did the cheekbones. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it looks super yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, you really have a sense of the way the light's coming from above across her face. It's great. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you. Thanks, guys. I'm going to mute myself so I don't obscure someone else, but thank you. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> great to see you. Same Carol, here. do you want to show us your drawing, please? That is my mom. Oh, uh, nice. I was so afraid she was going to look just like my girlfriend that I just did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that myself. Like, wait, probably I'm going to make the same drawing. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, just even just doing this, yeah, I remember certain things. And yeah, you can't put it in lines, but it was nice to think about her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's a nice exercise to, to sort of feel closer to, to people, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's my dad. Wait, there he is. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. I copied Mary's cheekbones because I couldn't. <laughs> <feel it. laughs> that's good. That's good. I mean, that's that's a a good thing between. I mean, about taking a class with other people, right? That. Many right. times things we, we don't figure out ourselves that uh, other people see. So I think that's that's a good way of learning as well, no? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Looks great. And you can Thank see you for he looks a lot like my daughter. My daughter looks a lot like him. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I see the jawline is huge eye. on your daughter for sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Marilyn. You're welcome. I like the I love the freedom of both of those those portraits. Uh, they're, yes, they're, they're really wonderful. <laughs> yeah, those lines are really free and, and yeah, right. Yeah, that you're not inhibited at all on the way you're doing your lines. It's great. Yeah, I, I am so careful. That was my problem. I was trying to get everything right, so I I totally started messing up my own drawing. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that that that's a good uh, thing to to mention and. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want to keep playing with, with this on your own, I will recommend you maybe do other people, but use your left hand or your opposite hand that you use. <laughs> it's way harder, and, and but your brain is working very differently as well. So I think in terms of memory, it's, it's a really good exercise to use the left one. Or you don't have to do it today, but maybe try it tomorrow or another day that you are like, who should I choose? And then and then check it out. I think it's a interesting exercise as well. I'm gonna try blindfolded. Yeah, that's <laughs> that sounds good too. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much, guys. It, it was great and to see you. Thank you for the class. Thank and you, Chuck. I I will I will send you a picture because I have a really good photo when when Allison and I were were having that talk in my show. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll find it because it, it, it's a good photo. But anyways, great to see everyone.
Thank okay. you, Rodrigo. Awesome. Stay Thank safe you. and uh, okay. looking forward to see you guys again. Stay well, person. everyone. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Have a good one. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Ciao.